Welcome to 5 minutes in Mari. We're gonna take a look at how we can create our own gizmos. It's a way to essentially package a number of nodes into a node or you can have a, even have a, a complete network. Let's say that you have something that you package or it's something that you want to reuse from time to time and, and just recall. You can do this. So let's say that this is what you want to use later on like a single node. So if we go down here, let's take the curvature and the occlusion and pipe it into there, the curvature there, and take a look at this node now in the end. So you wanna package this con collection of uh, nodes into a group or like a gizmo. So we can do this by grouping this all of this together. So I group this, Control G, and now it becomes a, a group node, and uh, you can see it on this icon. And if I look inside, if, if I double click on this, I, there is a, now I'm inside the group, you can see it on this tab. So to get the inputs to have names that make sense, you have to rename the input nodes here. So this input, Let's say this is gonna be the occlusion input. This one is a curvature, so let's rename it to curve. And I already had an input node called extra dirt. But if you want uh, another input, you can just hit tab and type input. Let's call it whatever. And at the moment it, it's not hooked up to anything, but you could just hook it up to, well, let's say it's just gonna hook it up to the mask, so whatever mask. So jump out now and let's look at the group node. So we have extra dirt, occlusion, curvature, and whatever mask. So this is inputs. Uh, in my case, they are connected to the occlusion and the curvature bakes. We look at the output on this one now this is still the same to make it a gizmo you want to package this so name this group to something my super dirt you want to have uh, exposed inputs or uh, settings here on the gizmo so that's when you hit the p button and also if you go to the group hit the export as gizmo this is where you export the actual uh, gizmo to a location so you can record it later. Let's just expose some of the interior in this group. So hit the P button and then you get this dialog and you have this pick. This is where you can pick what's inside. So, so occlusion pattern, for example, I want to have the world scale, the image and the UV repeat, maybe those. So do you see it? it gets populated here? Curvature pattern. So that's another pattern we can mess with. So I want the world scale, the image, and the UV repeat. So this is a a, a, a switch node. So I can switch between uh, if I want to invert the pattern, another merge node. Okay. So yeah, I'm just gonna collapse this down and take a look here. So now if I want to save this, let's say I want to save this so I can record it later. And you do that, you can re-disconnect those two if I want to. Export as gizmo. And the gizmo goes in your uh, documents, Mari, have a gizmo folder. So if you don't have a gizmo folder, you can name uh, inside this documents, Mari, make a folder called gizmo. And I made a uh, dirt gizmo and save it there. And then you have to restart Mari for it to take place. So let's do that now. Okay, so we are back and let's take a look now if we have this gizmo. So I have the nodes, meshman, dirt, my super dirt two. And there you go, there it is. So now I have my, if you have something that you wanna build and you wanna reuse, you can do it like this. Yeah, so that's the basics of Gizmos. So we're gonna cover this more later. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching this five minutes in Mori. And uh, as usual, if you wanna stay updated, just hit the subscribe button and leave any comments in the, this, uh, in the comments below and I will get back to you. Cheers, bye.